This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social and Association with Bedford. I'm here with undisputed lightweight queen Katie Taylor in Liverpool. Katie, been a few months since I've seen you. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Um, just training away as per usual. Nothing too exciting to, start to tell you. Yeah. Let's go back to then. Last time I've seen you was in Leeds. I know it's a place that holds a very special place in your heart and your, your family's as well. I didn't catch you post-fight. How much did you manage to enjoy that whole experience, the week and the fight itself? Oh, it was brilliant. Um, just the support that I got, the reception that I got on the, on the actual night. And to, to have a chance to actually box in front of 20,000 people again it was like the pre, you know, pre-COVID days. It was fantastic just to be back uh, boxing in, in a packed stadium. The atmosphere was electric and, um, yeah, it was a special night. i got to say, the atmosphere was fantastic. It was a brilliant night. Did you manage to so soak it all in? Were you happy with your performance as well? Yeah, I was happy with, with my performance. Um, I, I, I can't be too disappointed. I won every, every single round. Um, so it was a shutout victory. Um, so yeah, it was a it was a good performance. Facing Fruta Sharapova this weekend, I saw you doing your matchroom interview over there, and she came in and, and said hello. It was very friendly. What was that like for you? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't take too much notice. I just uh, um, obviously greet, greeted her back, um, but I, I, I know that the challenge that, that she comes with on Saturday night, I'm, I'm, I'm well prepared for, for what comes my way on Saturday night. She comes to fight, and um, I'm looking forward to, to a good battle. She's been in good spirits today. I can't say I've seen too much of her fight footage. Have you managed to see plenty of her? What, what can you tell us about her? Yeah, I've seen a few clips here and there. There's not a lot of fight footage out there of her, actually, but I have seen a few clips. And, um, yeah, she obviously comes to fight. She has a good amateur background as, as well, a good amateur pedigree. Um, and she has a good engine. She's very busy, so I think it'll make for a very exciting fight. We're here in Liverpool, another very proud fight in City. You expect a lot of Irish turnout on Saturday night? Yeah, I hope so. There's definitely a lot of Irish contingent here in Liverpool, so I hope to uh, to get great support here. I think anywhere I've boxed here in the UK, the support has been fantastic, so um, it's always great to box here regardless of where, what city it's in. Katie, I'm sure you're bored stiff of talking about the Serrano fight at this point. Does it have to be next if you win this? Uh, yeah, I think it does have to be next. I think it's a fight that's been talked about for a couple of years now, so... Um, so I obviously have my focus uh, I have something, uh, another opponent obviously to focus on right now um, my focus is completely on Saturday night but once I get over that um, the Serrano fight will, will be great One thing I wanted to get your thoughts on was the undisputed tournament at the weight above you Katie um, we saw Chantel Cameron advance we also saw Kaylee Reese and Jessica Kamara did you watch the Kaylee Reese fight recently? I did actually yeah um, I watched it, it was a good fight, very close fight um, yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting competition. I'm, I'm glad they're, they're finally um, making this competition because they obviously had four different champions for, for many years now. So it's great that we're going to see who the actual undisputed champion is in that weight category. Um, so it's, it's, it's an exciting tournament. Who do you think will win the final, Reese or uh, Chantal Cameron? I think it's going to be a very uh, a close fight. It's a bit, both come to fight, both are very, very busy. So... Um, it's going to be an interesting one. Um, I'm not one for making predictions, so um, I'm looking forward to a great fight. I know you've got this fight to take care of. It's got to be positive for you that if you decide to go up and you, you want to challenge yourself elsewhere, Matrim have kind of tied up all the belts between yourself all the way up to 147. That's got to be a nice feeling, though. There are bigger mountains to climb as well in the future. Yeah, completely. There's definitely big fights out there for me in the future. There's no shortage of those big fights, that's for sure. So. Um, it's a nice prospect now that I uh, that I could possibly become a multiple weight well, undisputed champion, and that is the goal. All right, well, Katie, thank you for taking the time to speak to me after your workout. Best of luck. Uh, thank you. <laughs>